OK, when asking for any kind of help or assistance on any of the XBMC forums, it's essential that you upload a debug log. Um, without one, it's, it's pretty much guesswork. It could be an, any number of problems um, that's causing your issue. So, um, so yeah, if you really do want the help that you need, um, you have to help us first by giving us a debug log. So what you need to do is go over to System, and go into uh, system settings down at the bottom there and we need to go down to debugging and enable debug logging okay now we can come out of that and what we actually want to do is uh, exit out of XBMC so we want to exit out and then we're going to load it back up again because what the debug log does it um, it logs everything that happens in that in that uh, XBMC session um, so the reason we wanted to start afresh is if we hadn't everything else we'd done in that session um, would have been logged so that would have made a massive great big um, debug log which nobody wants to go through all that so what we want to do is try and recreate whatever error we was having so in this example I'm just going to uh, try and create an error by going to video add-ons and 4 OD because I'm fairly certain that's broken so Let's try clicking on it. Already in the bottom right corner, can you see there? It says cannot show categories, see log for details. Brilliant. So that's created an error already. That's exactly what we want it to do. As little as uh, many steps as possible. Just get on with it. And then we want to come out. Okay, so we're going to exit out of there. Right, now we're out of there. What we have to do is we have to find our debug log. So um, depending on your device, it's going to be in different places. I've done video guides on um, where you'll find it in each device. Um, so you can check my YouTube channel for that. And also um, in the video description, I will uh, make a note of where you can uh, find your user data folder. But uh, I'm on a PC. So in a PC, it's just a simple case of typing in app data in the top with little um, uh, percent signs around it xbmc and there we go you see you got xbmc and xbmc old so what we want is um, the one that's called xbmc the old one would have been the previous version so double click on it um, we maximize that make it big and what we want to do is select all of this so I'm just going to do control a and I'm going to right click copy and I can close that now by the way and we now need to go to xbmclogs.com so xbmclogs.com and all we do is paste it in here so I'm going to right click paste and there we have it it's put it in there um, so you can put in your um, details there if you want and uh, you can ask you can tell it how how uh, how long you want it up there for when you want it deleted so um, you know I'm going to delete mine after 30 minutes because this is only a test so um, I'm going to paste that up there and then what we're given is a nicely laid out nicely formatted debug log okay so uh, so whoever's looking at it can have a look through this and they can look for an error so they can scroll down scroll down and what they're looking for is a red error message um, uh, there's some red there. Do you know what? I'll just do Control F for Find and type Error. There we go. We've got some errors there. So that's it. So when you post the debug log, make sure you put it on xbmclogs.com, and all you need is this link here. So you get that link, copy that, and you would paste that into the uh, forum. So uh, right, what your problem is, paste the debug log, and you will get the help that you need. Um, you can also use the XBMC Talk maintenance add-on and uh, that also has a function to upload debug logs. Uh, doing it manually is obviously um, well it's recommended because uh, add-ons can break at any time but, uh, but if you really can't do it this way then that is always an option. Okay I look forward to uh, reading some debug logs soon.